Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. Here today with the game seven, the final and deciding game of my 2005 World Series between the 2005 California Angels and or Los Angeles Angels or whatever you want to call them and the 2005 Houston Astros. Uh, we uh, the, the the Angels are in the series because they beat the White Sox in my ALCS replay but the Astros beat the Cardinals as they really did in real life in 2005. So they are the actual NL team. Now, if you remember, the Astros got beat um, four games straight by the White Sox in the actual 2005 World Series. And here they are playing the Angels, the team that they didn't play because the White Sox actually beat the Angels in real life. And we're in game seven for that one, for this particular matchup. So this is it. This is all the marbles. It's all hands on deck for this game. Andy Pettit will be going up for the Houston Astros, possibly on short rest. I don't remember exactly what other game in the World Series he pitched. But uh, he will be facing Jared Washburn, who I think is on normal rest. But... All the pit, like I said, everybody's available. Lackey's available. Everybody is still available for the Angels. Everybody's available for Houston, if needed. Because that's how it goes when you're in Game 7 of the World Series. And this will conclude my 2005 playoff postseason replay. So, this is mercifully coming to an end with this game. And Willie Tavares is going to be the leadoff hitter. The uh, Houston Astros lineup will be Willie Tavares in center field, Craig Biggio at second, Lance Berkman at first base, Morgan Ensberg at third, uh, Mike Lamb in right field, Bagwell will be the DH, Orlando Palmero will be in left, Raul Chavez will be the catcher because um, the uh, normal catcher for Houston was uh, injured in the uh, last game. Forget his name off the top of my head. I'm getting bad with names. Um, and then Adam Everett at shortstop. So Tavares batting against Washburn. And that is a 2-9, which will be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is a 2, and that is a 17, probably an out, and it is. So there's one away. Tavares goes six to three, and that brings up Biggio. Biggio gets a one seven, and that's going to be a pop out to second, two away, which gives way to Lance Berkman, one of the killer bees, and he gets a six eight, and that is a single. So Lance Berkman is the first base runner, and Washburn gives up a hit. First hit of the game, one man on, two down, and Ensberg is the batter, and he gets a 3-6, which is a strikeout. So Washburn strikes him out, and we go to the bottom of the first. Nothing for Houston and L.A. coming to bat with Sean Figgins. And he gets a 4-3, which is going to be a ground ball first base. One away. And the next batter is Garrett Anderson. Garrett Anderson playing left field today. And by the way, the uh, lineup for the Angels is Sean Figgins at third. Garrett Anderson in left. Vladdy Guerrero in right. Benji Molina at catcher. Darren Erstad at first. Orlando Cabrera at shortstop. Um, Rivera will be the DH. Adam Kennedy is the second baseman. And Steve Finley in center field. And uh, Anderson gets a 2-7, and that is a ground ball third base. So he goes out 5-3, and that brings up Vladdy, Vlad Guerrero. And uh, he gets a 
which is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. That's Everett. He's a one. That's a 17, probably an out. And it is. And uh, the Angels go one, two, three. And we go to the top of the second inning. The top of the second inning, Mike Lamb is leading off for the Astros. He is playing for the injured Jason Lane. And he gets a 1-4, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. So he'll go 1-3. to three. And Bagwell is up with one down. He gets a 3-9, and that is going to be a strikeout. So Washburn striking out his second guy here in the second. And giving way to Orlando Palmero. And he gets a 4-7, and that is going to be a strikeout. So there's three strikeouts for Washburn. And we go to the bottom of the second. Nobody has reached yet for the Angels, and that brings up Molina. to try to be the first guy, and he lines out to third base. So there's one down in Darren Erstad comes up and he gets a 1-3 which is a ground out to second. He goes 4-3 to three and Orlando Cabrera is the next batter. He gets a 2-9 and that is going to be a ground out to short. 6-3. to three. The Angels go 1-2-3 in the second and we go to the top of the third. Raul Chavez who does have a good arm. He's a good defensive catcher. Um, but he is in just because of an injury. 6-8. And that is going to be a single. So he gets the second hit for the Astros. And a second hit allowed by Washburn. Adam Everett is up. He gets a 5-6. And that's going to be a fly ball to left. So there's one down. F7, and uh, with one down and a man on, you've got Willie Tavares up. And he gets a 1-8, which is a strikeout. So Washburn throwing the heat today. That's his fourth strikeout of the game. And Craig Biggio is up, and he gets a 6-7, which is a single, which is a single, yes. And it's only a one-base single. Runner has to hold it second. Lance Berkman up, and he gets a 6-6, six, six, and that is a fly ball center field. F8, and no runs come in for the Astros. We go to the bottom of the th third inning. And Juan Rivera is the batter. He gets a 1-4. That's a ground ball to the pitcher. So he goes out quickly, one to three. Adam Kennedy, who hasn't played a while, in a while because he's been injured in the postseason, gets a 311, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. So he also goes one to three. Two guys in a row, and Finley up. And he gets a 210, which is a line out to second base. Line out four. We go to the top of the fourth. No score here. Both pitchers pitching quite well. You would expect that from Pettit. I suppose you would expect that from Washburn as well. Pettit in 2005 was 17 and 9 with a 2.39 earned run average, and Washburn was 8 and 8 with a 3.20. Ensberg gets a 1-3, and that's a walk. So he leads off by getting a board with a walk after striking out his first time up. Now, the speed is not on the Astros. It's on the Angels. So, Lamb comes up, and he'll stay right where he is. 2-9, and that is a strikeout. Lamb with the K in Washburn, man. He is throwing the smoke. El smoke -a. And Jeff Bagwell comes up, gets a 1-6, and that's going to be a walk. So Bagwell works a walk. There's two guys on now with only one out. Decent scoring chance here for the Astros. 
with Orlando Palmero up, and he gets a 1-5, which is a fly ball to right. So there's going to be two out. And Chavez back up. He got a hit last time, and he gets a home run. Do you believe that? Chavez, the uh, injury replacement, gets a three-run home run off of Washburn. So, Washburn getting uh, tagged right there. Ambushed, absolutely ambushed by Chavez. And it's 3 nothing Astros with Adam Everett up. And he gets a 4-7, which is a strikeout. So, another strikeout. He is smoking people, but he gave up a three spot here in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Um... And Sean Figgins up. So now they're going to have to try to get themselves back into this game. 5-10, because there is no tomorrow. It's a shortstop, and he is a 1. And uh, that's a 3. 3-1 three and one at shortstop isn't out, so it's 6-3 for Sean Figgins. Anderson, Garrett Anderson steps in. And he gets a 5-7, and that is a line out to shortstop. Which brings up a Vladdy. And Vladdy gets a 4-5, and that is going to be a ground ball second base. 4-3. The Angels could be in trouble here. They're down three. Uh, Pettit is on the mound. And um, they're, you know, I mean, that's a commanding lead possibly for Pettit. With the top of the fifth, and Tavares up, and he gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a fly ball center field. So uh, that is going to be uh, an F8. And uh, Craig Biggio, the batter, gets a 5-8. That is a pop out to second. And there's two down. And that will bring up Lance Berkman. And Berkman gets a 3-8, which is a ground ball to short. 6-3. So the Astros go quickly there, but maybe, maybe they got all the runs they're going to need for Pettit. Benji Molina is up. He gets a 3-7, and that's going to be a single. So Molina, is that the first hit? It is the first hit allowed by Pettit. Erstad is the batter. He gets a 6-9. That's going to be a double. And they're going to hold them because they're down by three. They need runners. They need base runners. Um, but all of a sudden, Pettit just uh, looks like he's falling apart here. Cabrera gets a 3-9, and that is a single, and it'll score a run. And what is the running of the, uh, of the runner on second is a 14. But... I think with no outs, I'm inclined to say that they're just going to, uh, they're just going to let the, uh, they're going to hold up the runner. They're not going to try to press it. Juan Rivera up and he gets 3-5, which is a ground ball into a double play, but that does score the runner from third. And uh, that is going to be the second run allowed. And now it's 3-2. And the Angels are right back in this game with Adam Kennedy up. And he gets a 3-6, which is a strikeout. That will be the first strikeout for Pettit in the game. But the Angels do strike for two in the fifth and make it 3-2. Morgan Ensberg is up. He gets a 4-6, which is going to be a walk. So, Ensberg aboard with a walk, first man on. And also, I would point out that really, neither one of these teams has a great bullpen. So, you probably are looking at starters to come in if the, if the actual starters get in trouble. 
Lamb is up. He gets a 6-4. That is a ground ball to the third baseman. That's Figgins. He's a 2. This is a 3. 3-2 three and two is going to be an out 1. Advances the runner to second. And that brings to the plate Bagwell. Bagwell with a walk last time and a run scored. He gets a 4-9. That is going to be a home run, two-run home run for Bags. So, Washburn, I don't know. I don't think he has it today. His team had just fought back to get him that close. And yet now it is a 5-2 game. And Orlando Palmero is up. He gets a 3-9 and that's a strikeout. He is still whiffing guys. So he is reaching back still. But it's uh, it might already be. A decided game and here's Chavez who had the first home run this game 6-7 and that is going to be a base hit Chavez is having a game of his life he is I mean he is three for three with two singles a home run and three RBIs and Adam Everett up and he gets a 2-7 which is a ground ball third base so that's going to be a 5-3. It's going to end the inning. But the Astros got the two runs back in the top of the fifth that they had surrendered to the Angels in the bottom of the fourth. And so we go, or, or in, they get the two runs back in the top of the sixth that they had surrendered to the Angels in the bottom of the fifth. So Finley is up. And he gets a line out plus injury. And that's a one, so the he won't be injured. He's only temporarily injured and stays in the game. Uh, but he does line out. All right, so, let's see over here. Steve Finley, or no, not Steve Finley, Sean Figgins gets 312, and that's a foul out plus injury, and that's a 20. So Sean Figgins is out for a long time. He uh, gets a foul out to the catcher. Foul out two, and that brings up Garrett Anderson. And Garrett Anderson gets a 4-10. That will be a fly ball to the center fielder. So that's an F8, but we have to replace Figgins. And maybe even um, have to look at replacing um, possibly Jared Washburn. But let's do the first things first. And we're going to replace Figgins with um, with Dallas McPherson. So Dallas McPherson will come in for Figgins. And now we'll we'll see if we want to replace Washburn. They are going to replace Washburn with Kelvin Escobar. So Kelvin Escobar will come in. And he will be pitching. Washburn only goes, I believe, five, right? Yeah. And so Guerrero is up. Or wait a minute. No, Guerrero's not up. Um, it is Tavares. Willie Tavares is up for the Astros here in the seventh. Or wait a minute. No. Oh, wait. Yes, it is. The Angels didn't get any runs in the sixth. So Tavares is up, and he gets a 5-9, which is going to be a strikeout. Escobar, one guy faced, and a strikeout. 
That brings up Craig Biggio. He gets a 5-5, five, five, which is going to be a double. So he rips a double. And they are the, um, the Astros are just hitting this Angels pitching mercilessly. Uh, Berkman is the batter. He gets a 110. That is going to be a single. And the runner is Biggio, who's only a 12 runner, so 1 to 12. So they're going to hold him up. That's another hit, though. One down. Runners are at the corners. They're going to play for the double play. I hate playing the infield in, um, even in this situation. 3 9 is a fly ball center field B for Ensberg. So that would have knocked the run in anyway, regardless of where the. Uh, where the infield were playing and it's another run for Houston with um, Mike Lamb up and he gets a 5-6 which is a triple and knocks in the runner on first this is crazy so Houston strikes for another run two runs right here and they went from the frying pan and into the fire going from Washburn to Escobar with Bagwell up, and he gets a 5-3, which is a walk, and puts a man at first base. This inning just won't end. And certainly, the Angels wish it would. And Orlando Palmero is up, and he gets a 1-6, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. And that is the end of the inning. Would have been a double play, except that they didn't need the double play, I don't think. Well, maybe no, they didn't. So it was the that was the third, just the third out, and um, but at the Astros get two more in the seventh, and they take a seven to two lead, and now things are looking pretty grim for the uh, for the Angels here with Vlad Guerrero up getting a 5-3, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. He is a defense 2. That is a 12. That might be an on-base. It is. It's an error by um, uh, Pettit. So, that is an E1. And puts Guerrero aboard with Molina up. And he gets a 5-8. That's going to be a fly ball to left. So there's one out, F7, Erstan is the batter, he gets a 6, and that's a 6-6, six, six, which is a strikeout, Erstad striking out, two down, Pettit with his, only his second strikeout of the game, and Orlando Cabrera gets a 1-4, and that's a pop out to short. Pop out to six. No runs come in right there for the Angels. And the uh, the Angels are going to go. They're just going right now to their, uh, to their closer. Because they can't allow anything else to happen. That's Francisco Rodriguez is going to come in. And look who's up, Chavez, Raul Chavez, who is three for three today, and he gets a 410, which is a strikeout. So that's the first time he has been out today at all. Efrod Kazim, that brings up Adam Everett, and he gets a 1-5, which is a fly to center field. And that brings to the plate Willie Tavares, and he gets a 4-8, and that is a strikeout. So um, F-Rod does what he had to do, comes on in the eighth. He strikes two of the guys out, allows no more runs to score. But we go to the bottom of the eighth with the Astros in a commanding 7-2 to lead uh, against the... Angels and Juan Rivera will be the batter. He gets a 6-6. Six, six, that's a strikeout. Again, the um, Astros, even the Astros, don't have much of a bullpen. So if Pettit's pitching like this, they're going to keep him out there. Kennedy 
gets a 6-9. That is going to be a single. So there's one out. Kennedy is aboard. That's only the third hit given up by uh, Pettit by my count. Steve Finley is the batter. He gets a 6-9. And that is going to be a double 1-8 to eight or a single. And it is going to be a single double asterisk. Runners are at the corners. Fourth hit allowed by Pettit. Chance, big chance for the Angels here. There's only one down, and Dallas Smith Pearson is the batter, yes. And he gets a 3-4, which is a double play. Ground out to second base, double play, and ends the inning. So that is going to be a 5-3. No runs come in for the Angels. We go to the top of the ninth. Efrod still out there for his second inning of work. And uh, that's going to be a 3-6 for Biggio, and that is going to be a double. So Biggio gets a double. That's his second double today. He's actually 3-for-5 on the day. And that brings to the plate Berkman. Berkman, big on base guy, gets a 5-4, though. That's a strikeout. So with a man at second and one down, Morgan Ensberg comes up. He gets a 5-9. That is a strikeout. They're extending uh, Efrod a little beyond what he's comfortable with, but they've got to. And it's a 4-8, and that is going to be a strikeout. He strikes out three men after allowing a leadoff double in the ninth. We go to the bottom of the ninth, and the uh, Angels are in the unenviable position of having to get five runs off of Pettit, with Garrett Anderson being the first batter. Six, uh, seven is going to be a strikeout, one away. Vlad Guerrero gets a 6-10. That's going to be a fly to center field. The center fielder is... A 2, and that's a 14. I believe that's an out. Very likely it is. And Molina, the last last chance here to keep the Angels' season alive. 1-8, that's a pop-out to shortstop, and that will be the game. And the Angels lose this one, Game 7, by the big score of 7-2. to two. They were in the game through five innings, but they ended up losing it in the end and losing the World Series to the Astros. The Astros are the alternate universe 2005 World Series champions. And that'll be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.